works is your work. Now let's use your imagination. We will pretend that you are someone. Three areas most important to you. You choose weight loss, fitness, relationships, the two areas of spouse or partner and kids, and finances. And next, we'll fast forward through 12 months of working on these goals. It's March, April, May, June, July, August. Look at that progress. September, October, November, and even a bonus goal of a new job. There's your new snapshot. We take all kinds of before and after pictures where we remember what it's like. We'll even take pictures on birthdays to remember what that was like. Look at this before and after snapshot. That is impressive. What you measure, you can improve. Now, let's see how you make it happen. We'll go to your goal management section. See the results and respond however they want. Let's see if we can figure out what may be going wrong. We go to the goal management system, choose chart goals, and then select the physical goal you're having the problem with. From here, you can see the seven action items you're tracking. You can see the days of the week you're tracking them. And if we look at the beginning, everything is going okay. And then we start to lose ground in some areas and then all of a sudden everything goes down. Now from here you may be able to assess what the problem is. If not, you can take a life snapshot of that day and aha, there may be a cause. Maybe you can determine a pattern, you can find a solution, most of all you can make progress. It's fun, it's simple, and it is profound. You have both people and information to help. Now upload your own videos. Share your victories, share information with others, or provide a challenge. Here's an example from a 15-year-old who happens to be my son. I was asked to write my thoughts about the results of keeping my word with myself or not keeping my word with myself. If I don't keep my word with my friends, then they don't trust me, and that sucks. If I don't keep my word with my parents who control everything, they don't trust me, and that really sucks. If I always do what I say I'll do, people will trust me, and I will trust myself. Another thing I could do is ask someone who knows more than I do. So basically, if I'm having trouble, all I have to do is ask anyone who knows more than me. Continuing on, my, on this path, I see myself happy with a lot of friends and parents and loved ones who trust me. I am graduating with plenty of scholarships. Because I kept my word to myself and to others, I am happy and excited. I feel proud because I did this on my own. I want it so badly, I feel I'll almost do anything for it. Everything feels concrete in that future. for success, you will hear us say, you must always move from wishing and wanting to planning and doing and having. You must always move from wishing and wanting to planning and doing and having. Wishing and wanting is where most programs stop. Some go to planning. With the positioning for success proprietary software, you will track your doing and verify your happiness. Take 60 seconds right now to reflect on these seven areas 
work of your life. You can find wishing and wanting in every program. You'll find planning in some. Positioning for success tracks your doing to ensure you are having the results that you want. Next, make sure you watch the video explaining the free positioning for success course, which will imprint in you the six essential elements you will find in every top CEO, every top professional athlete, and every person who breaks through the barriers which stops others. Make sure that you are positioning yourself.